हेलो एवरीवन आई एम उमा मल्लिकार्जुन वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्रक्रिया एजुकेशंस इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शिल कंटिन्यू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मैट्रिसेस दिस इज सेकंड आउट ऑफ सिक्स मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ मैट्रिसेस इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शिल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑपरेशंस ऑन मैट्रिसेस अंडर ऑपरेशंस ऑन मैट्रिसेस एडिशन ऑफ मैट्रिसेस एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज multiplication of a matrix by a scalar and its properties difference of matrices and also we shall solve few problems of ncert of exercise 3.2 now we shall learn about operations on matrices the first one addition of matrices if you are given two matrices a and b where a is equal to aij and b is equal to bij with a small condition that both the orders should be equal say m cross n then the sum of these two matrices will be a plus b which is equal to some matrix c which will be of the form cij of the same order m cross n and each element of this matrix c will be of the form aij plus bij for all possible values of i and j let us take a small example if a is given as and b is given as then the addition of these two matrices a and b we'll just find out this take the first element of a and the corresponding element of b add these two elements and that gives you sum of a plus b 1 plus 5 which gives you 6 continue and it retains the same order 3 cross 2 this is the sum of two matrices a and b now looking at the second one multiplication of a matrix by a scalar if you are given a matrix a of the form aij with the order m cross n and k as a scalar scalar is nothing but some constant then k into a will be equal to k into multiply k to each element of the matrix a and that is nothing but the multiplication of a matrix by a scalar let us take an example if i take a is equal to and i shall choose k is equal to 5 then 5a is equal to 5 into the matrix a that is 2 now multiply 5 to every element of a multiply 5 to every element of a and hence you get this is the multiplication of a matrix by a scalar we have a small special case negative of a matrix in the scalar multiplication if the scalar k is equal to minus 1 then we'll have k into a as minus 1 into a and that gives us minus a this is called as negative of a matrix and hence now we can define difference of matrices if we are given two matrices a a i j and b b i j and of course with the same orders m cross n then the difference of two matrices a minus b will be equal to some matrix d which will be of the form d i j again which retains the same order and every element of this matrix d will be of the form a i j minus b i j for every i and j and now we can also write a minus b as a plus of minus b 
and hence difference of matrices is nothing but the sum of the matrix A and the negative of the matrix B. Now looking at the properties of matrix addition. The first one commutative law. If A and B are two matrices of same order M cross N, then A plus B is equal to B plus A. We have a small proof for this. Starting with the LHS A plus B, we have got A as matrix AIJ plus B as matrix BIJ. And since we know that both the matrices are of same order, we can add these two matrices and which gives us matrix AIJ plus BIJ. And also recalling the result that addition of numbers is commutative, we can reverse the elements in the matrix and it becomes matrix Bij plus Aij. In the last step, splitting up the matrices, we get matrix Bij plus matrix Aij which gives us B plus A and hence LHS is equal to RHS. Hence proved. The second one associative law. If A, B and C are three matrices of same order M cross N, then A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Again, in the same pattern, we can prove this result also. The third property of matrix addition is the existence of additive identity. If A is a matrix of order M cross N, then zero matrix of the same order M cross N acts as the additive identity of matrix A, which is nothing but A plus O is equal to O plus A gives back as the same matrix A. And hence, O is the additive identity for matrix addition. The next one is existence of additive inverse. If A is again a matrix of the order M cross N, then we have another matrix minus A, which is nothing but the negative of a matrix such that A plus minus A is equal to minus A plus A gives back as the additive identity that is zero matrix and hence the negative of a matrix a, which is minus A, acts as additive inverse of A. Now, looking at the properties of scalar multiplication of matrix. If A and B are two matrices of same order and K and L are scalars, then the first property is K into A plus B is equal to KA plus KB. Starting the proof with LHS, we can rewrite A and B as matrix Aij plus matrix Bij. Since the matrices are of same order, we can add those two matrices and we get K into matrix Aij plus Bij. Using the definition of scalar multiplication of matrix, we can multiply K into the matrix and hence we get matrix K into Aij plus Bij. Multiplying K to each element, we get matrix Kaij plus Kbij, ending with Ka plus Kb. And hence, LHS is equal to RHS and hence the result is proved. Similarly, we have another result. K plus L into A is equal to Ka plus La. In a similar fashion of the first property, we can prove the second property also. Now, we shall look for a few problems. I have chosen the problems from exercise 3.2. I am retaining the exercise number as well the question number for your reference. Now, look at the problem. If the three matrices A, B, C are given, then compute A plus B and B minus C also verify that A plus B minus C is equal to A plus B minus C. A simple problem actually. We shall start stepwise. The first thing that we have to find is A plus B. Just add these two matrices. I am adding the corresponding elements. A plus B, 1 plus 3, 4. 
2 minus 1, 1, continue the same for the all elements. We have got the matrix A plus B. Similarly, in the second step, I'll find B minus C. Difference of two matrices, subtract these two matrices, 3 minus 4, minus 1, minus 1, continue the same way and hence we have got the matrix B minus C. Now our job is to find the A plus B minus C and A plus B minus C and check whether they are equal to each other. Now we shall start with the LHS A plus B minus C. The matrix A B minus C which we have found out. Adding these two equations we get Let us take this as equation number 1 and then we shall check for the RHS. A plus B that we have found out minus the matrix C. Subtract the difference of these two matrices now. Let us take this as equation number 2. LHS which we have mentioned as equation 1 and RHS that we have mentioned as equation 2 are equal and hence from equation 1 and equation 2 LHS is equal to RHS and hence verified. Look at the next question. Find x and y if these two equations are given. Look these equations carefully. These are nothing but the simultaneous linear equations with two variables. You can actually solve this using elimination method or substitution method or cross multiplication method that as you wish. But now I am applying elimination method to find the matrices x and y. Now since the coefficients of the variables are not equal, I'll just multiply 3 and multiply 2 and hence these equations will be do remember that you need to multiply this number to every number of the matrix. Now, since the coefficient of x are equal, I'll just change the signs and cancel 6x and hence we'll be remaining with 9y minus 4y which gives us 5y is equal to the sign of the matrix is minus now and hence you need to apply difference of these two matrices 6 minus 4 9 minus of minus 4, 12 minus of minus 2 that is 12 plus 2 and the last is minus 10. Now shift 5 this side and you will be having 1 by 5 into the matrix 2, 13, 14 minus 10 and hence the value of y will be multiply 1 by 5 to each number in the matrix and hence you will have 2 by 5, 13 by 5, 14 by 5 and minus 10 by 5 which reduces to now you have got the value of y. Now substitute the value of y in either of these two equations and hence you will get the value of x. I'll just substitute in the first equation
subtracting these two matrices and hence you get the value of x. Now look at this question. Given this equation and we have to find the values of x, y, z and w. I'll just first multiply 3 to this matrix and we get 3x, 3y, 3z, 3w and also I'll add these two matrices. Since they have given these two matrices are equal, we can equate the corresponding elements of the matrices and hence we get 3x is equal to x plus 4, 3y is equal to 6 plus x plus y, 3z is equal to minus 1 plus z plus w, 3w is equal to 2w plus 3. You can actually take any of these four equations to solve and find the values of uh, the variables but now I'll take this equation and this for solving and since we are having one unknown and hence we'll have 3x minus x is equal to 4, 2x is equal to 4 and we have the value of x as 2. Similarly, 3w minus 2w is equal to 3 and we get w is equal to 3. Now substituting the value of x here, we can easily get the value of y. 3y minus y is equal to 6 plus 2 and 2y is equal to 8 and y is equal to 4. Then substituting the value of w, we get the value of z easily. 3z minus z is equal to minus 1 plus w is 3, 2z is equal to 2 and z is equal to 1. Look at the next question. Assume x and z matrices of order 2 cross n and 2 cross p. Okay, x is of order 2 cross n and z is of order 2 cross p and they have given you n is equal to p, n is equal to p. Then the order of the matrix 7x minus 5z is, okay, if n is equal to p, then the order of the matrix z will also be 2 cross n. And hence you can notice that the orders of both x and z are equal and hence we can subtract these two matrices and the resultant matrix will also be of the same order and hence the option is B. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.